So previously, if you wanted to mount a suppressor to your Ruger 1022 takedown, you had to worry about six inches of added length, meaning the barrel would stick out of the bag it comes with. But now, today, we're looking at something that allows you to have that suppressor and keep it nice and protected inside the Ruger bag. This is the SBX barrel for a Ruger 1022 from Tactical Solutions. So obviously this thing is meant to be used with a suppressor, but they ship it with an inert can so that you can take it out and shoot it while you're waiting on your tax stamp to clear. Just like this. <laughs> well, I think that's enough of that. Let's put a can on here. So this is my 22 Sparrow from Silencer Co. Let's get her mounted up and get a fresh mag in this gun and show you how you're supposed to use it. There we go. <laughs> so one of the most important things when considering a barrel purchase is the accuracy with popular ammo. So today we've got the Federal Auto Match loaded up got five rounds in the mag we've got some targets down range at about 50 yards and we're gonna see what kind of groups we get out of this thing now we are shooting off a somewhat unstable platform this is the bag and I'm not that great a shot so I'm not expecting super super tight groups but we're gonna see how it does now this ammunition is a 40 grain bullet going at approximately 1200 feet per second we are out yes we are that was actually fairly decent I'm impressed with that group let's go take a look so now we're gonna try the fastest 22 on the market this is about 1750 feet per second the Aguila super maximum hyper velocity now I've made shots on steel with this ammo at 200 yards so with a 30 grain bullet we'll see how it groups downrange at about 50 with this particular setup same target here we go. This will also be a lot louder. Significantly louder. Okay. So we're clear. Now, that wasn't as tight of a group, and I think I, I'm blaming myself on that. It was kind of wobbling the gun around a lot more, but it's still totally acceptable. Let's try standard velocity now. Now this is a 40 grain bullet going just over a thousand feet per second. I believe it's 1070 and we're going to put some rounds down range. Now this will be a good bit quieter. Okay, we're clear. That was a decent group, not fantastic, but uh, that is a result. So now we're gonna try out the CCI Quiet 22. This is absolutely, like it's called, the quietest 22 on the market. It goes about 710 feet per second. I mean, it's to the point where you can see it through the scope going down range. I have no idea how this is gonna group. It certainly will not cycle the gun, even with the suppressor on there. Let's see how it groups. Huh. 
So that wasn't the best group so far, but it actually wasn't too, too bad. Let's take a closer look at them. So you can see our groups here, and it looks like the CCI Standard and Federal Auto Match did the best overall. CCI Quiet, far and away the worst. In a not so surprising result, it looks like the standard velocity of 1200 feet per second gave us the best results. Now, if you ask me, that's a good thing because stuff like this Federal Auto Match is currently the easiest to find on the market. I've seen it all the way from about $15 to about 30, and that makes this stuff very attainable and you're probably gonna use it the most. Now, as far as reliability goes, we have seen no issues with this thing accepting any kind of ammunition from the super long casing of the super maximum hyper velocity all the way down to the quiet 22s. It seems to run everything. So the SBX barrel from Tactical Solutions, what do I think of it? Well, it's a trendsetter. On the market right now, there is nothing else like this. And because of that, it's a little more expensive. It's just under $300 for this barrel. But on the value side of things, it's lightweight, it's super portable, and it saves you from having to pay an extra $200 to get an SBR for your 1022 takedown. We've got a nice short package with a suppressor on there without a tax stamp for the SBR, and it's good to go. It's reliable. I mean, overall, this is a fantastic option for your takedown. Now, one of the other things we're going to do to give back to you guys for watching this video is give away one of these Tactical Solutions hat. All you have to do to win is leave a comment down below telling us about what part you like about this video the most. That's it. Super easy, in one week's time, we'll give away that Taxol hat. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it the old thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to the channel. As always guys, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.